it's warmer, but. Now the reason I'm booting this horse is he is a driving horse. And I found when we went out on the picnic drives with my local driving club that quite often the terrain was gravel roads. And even as small as he is, and as lightweight as he is compared to the big horses, the gravel bothered him. So I, I, I started looking for boots at that point. Um, this is not my idea. I, I read about this on the internet. Someone had written into the carriage driving list um, asking about boots for minis. And someone suggested that their mother had said she uses the Build-A-Bear boots. So with that, I had to go find my Build-A-Bear shop and start looking. They make several different types of uh, tennis shoes, athletic type shoes for these darn little bears. And I think they would work out really well if, if you had to take your horse to some place, like a, a hospital or a nursing home, if it was a therapy horse. I think these would work really well on uh, the slick surfaces. So. Now that we've got him booted, I think it's time to take him out for a test drive. Now we're outside. Bo is booted up, and I'm going to give him a test trot, a trot up, make sure these things are going to work. I see that, again, like before, his left boot tends to be twisted a little bit out, but I've got to think that that's probably um, a matter of his confirmation, because it does it each time. Come on, Bo. Let's go give him a little tryout. I'll trot him back. feeling a bit up today. <laughs> All right, though, so in we go. I think we know they're not going to fall off at this point. We're now ready to go. You can see he's got his boots on, um, harness and cart. Uh, this is a, a hyper bike from Grand Carriage Works. And it's been a long time since I've had him hitch, so we, we may see a little bit of spark here today. So I'm just going to go out and test these boots. Forward. Forward. That's it. Bit of a steep drop here, so I can really get in his bridges to start out.
down the gravel road and now I want to get out of the cart and just have a look. So, stand. Out we come. And let's have a look at these boots. Actually, I'm real pleased. The left one is still a little out, but again, I think that's his confirmation. And we're going to live with that. Nothing else seems to have slipped. And as you can see, you can see this gravel, I think my dirt guy calls it 53s or something. Standard gravel, great for cars, not so great for horses. And the other times that I've been out on this road with him, he's wanted to um, put his feet over on the grass. I didn't have any problem with him veering off. So he seems to be quite happy with this, which means I can get him out this winter because this is our private area. Um, it's great for a mini, but now that his feet are covered, I'll be able to get him out and get him exercise and maybe take some of that extra weight off. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Bo? So, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what we've got so far. Um, I will consider whether I need to do the same thing for the hind. So I think his hind feet are a little bit smaller yet, so I may have to, um, or I'd probably definitely put the vet wrap sock on him first. But I'm pleased with what we've got. So thanks for tuning in and check out Bo's trick training videos because that's really his claim to fame. Bye bye. Now for those of you who've stayed with us this long to see this movie about Bo and his, um, his bear boots, Bo is not only a star of video here on my uh, YouTube channel, but he's also featured in a coffee table book. Horses in Living Color. He is page 76. This is from his stallion days. So I'm sure he would look like this again if he weren't wearing his winter coat. Yes, that's it. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this.